Amen. She says she feels Jesus. Word is 
for you tonight. Amen. And uh, everybody know, amen, what burdens they're carrying. Yeah. <coughs> amen. amen. But we're going to lay them down tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I said we're going to lay them down tonight. Yeah. Amen. 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 If you got your Bibles, go to Romans, the seventh chapter, and the 23rd verse. And I don't intend to be too long, but then I don't know how the Holy Spirit is going to move. And, uh, and most of you know me. I wind up preaching maybe two messages. I say that all the time, but y'all know it's true. Am I not right about it? Because when the Holy Spirit begins to prophesy, then a word has to go forth. Amen. So a lot of times that word may sound may sound like I'm preaching another message. Amen. It, it, it's to it's be a message that I have not prepared. Uh, 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 but God has a way of speaking to you while he got you here. Amen. Uh, somebody say amen. 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 So Romans 7 and 23. Amen. Amen. Romans 7 and verse Hmm. Almost seven and twenty-three. Oh, mm -hmm. praise the Lord, church. Amen. Amen. Pastors, looking past your notes. <laughs> Amen. And verse twenty-three it says, <coughs> "But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin." which is in my members. I'm a, before I go any further, I want to give you the, the topic of this, is spiritual battles. Mm -hmm. Spiritual mm -hmm. battles. Everything that you're going through is just a spiritual battle. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's a spiritual battle. You heard people say it's just a test. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, church, it's, it's a spiritual battle that you're going through. Right. You see, the devil does not want you right. to succeed. Right. He does not want you to succeed. And if you've had your hand in, in God's hand for a long time, yep. the devil is going to bring spiritual battles, amen, amen right. upon amen. you. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm amen. saying to you? Amen. amen. It ain't going to always be howdy, howdy and lovely. Uh -uh. It ain't going to always be you walking through the tulips, amen, and, and everything is rosy, rosy. Uh, just because you get saved don't mean that all, everything is going to be okay. That's right, that's right. Because when you start making a decision to walk for God, the devil is going to get busy, and the devil is going to try to stop you from being successful in your walk with God. How many of you know And in Romans, we see here that Paul is talking to the church at Rome. And he said, I see another law in my members. He was talking about himself. And he said, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. And he said, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Then he says, I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. Mm -hmm. I got to explain it to you. Amen. You, 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 you're living in a body. Mm -hmm. You got a soul, mm -hmm. which is your mind, and you got spirit. Right. Amen. Amen. And, I, and I've said this so many times because it's such a good example. You are a three-part being, and i got to say it again. You're a three-part being. You're, you're, before you get saved, you are body, soul, and spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. How many know that God Amen. is a three-part being? Amen. How many know he's a three-part being? Yes, yes. How many know that he's God right. all by himself? Yeah. He's right. Jesus Amen. all by himself. Amen. And he is the Holy Ghost all by himself. But he's three in one. Amen. 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 So when he made us, he made us also three in one. We are body, soul, and spirit. But when you get saved, born again, change takes over. I'm talking about showing up born again now. I ain't talking about, I'm talking about showing up born 
again. Uh, he says, Sister Mary, what does that mean? That means that, that you have changed from what you were to what God wants you to be. You're changing from what God, what you used to be, to what God wants you to be. You made up in your mind that you're going to be born again. You're going to be a new. You're going to be a new in God. So once this takes place, church, I want you to understand that you're no longer body, soul, and spirit. You become spirit, soul, and body. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. In other words, once you have made that decision in Christ, you are to be led by your spirit. Amen. That inner man, that born-again man, that new man. That's on the inside of you, amen? And every time you go to step wrong, that spirit that is in you, the Holy Spirit that is in you, will say, uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's right. Yes. That's right. And that soul is your mind. Paul was talking about that in him, inside of him, he wanted to do right. Because he was born of the Spirit of God. He wanted to do right. But on the inside of him, his mind was constantly trying to tell him, do this, do that. Which went against the laws of God. Now you can listen to your spirit, or you can listen to your mind. Amen. It's up to you. How many know God is not going to force you to walk right before him? God is not, I, I'm about to take out this seat. God is Amen. not going to force you to live right. Amen. He has given you every tool there is to live right. The choice is up to you. Amen. 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 And Paul was telling the church at Rome, he was explaining to them, Amen. That, that when I, I but I see another law in my members anyway, he said, I recognize. I see, I recognize there's something else on the inside of me that's trying to get me to go wrong. Mm -hmm. And you heard the secular world say the devil made me do it. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? The yeah. uh, devil can't make you do no more than you let him. Yeah. Right. 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 If you let him, he'll have you jumping off a cliff. Yeah. Right. If you let him, he'll have you doing anything yeah. that, that, that is against yeah. God. If you let him. That's why God has given us the word so that we'll know how to fight the devil. Amen. 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 That's why you're going through, you're going to go through some spiritual battles. Amen. You're going to go through some. Yes. But he didn't leave you without help. Amen. He knows that you're going to go through some things. Amen. He knows that this body is going to dictate to you. That's right. Huh? I, I, me and Brother Hunt, I, and I know some of you, the rest of you can attest to this. As we get older, the bones ache, everything ache. You get up in the morning and you can't hardly get out the bed. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. This body is going to dictate to you, and this body is going to tell you, you, you are not going to church. Oh, you better stay home. You know, you know, you know, you're hurting too bad, you know. And if you give in, you might miss the blessing that God has for you. Amen. These are spiritual battles that you're going to go through. That's why I say you're not going to walk through this life tipping through the tulips. You're not going to walk through this, this life in the spiritual life here on this earth and be without pain or suffering. Huh? I mean, I'm right. You can't hurt no more than God hurt Jesus hurt when he was on that cross. Amen. You can't hurt as bad as he hurt. You think about what he did. Price he paid. That's right. Huh? I, I know that we, we are not Jesus. <laughs> but he gave us tools to be able to live this life. Amen. And that's what I'm going to be talking about tonight, you see. Because we are, 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 are fighting spiritual battles. God wants you to do something. God wants you to be more. God wants you to, be, to use you more. But we are allowing these spiritual battles that we go through to stop us. This ain't the only church 
church that's got problems like that. Every church has got problems like that. Because the people don't want to realize that they need to get up off of it and praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got on the, I got on the internet the other night and I began to look up some preachers that were preaching. And I tell you, I was sitting in that room having me a hallelujah good time because they were preaching and they were telling it just like it is. Hallelujah. And if you don't get somebody this message, something's wrong with you. <laughs> we gotta learn how to praise God. Do you know that the manifestations of the Holy Spirit does not even come into uh, she already preached my message <laughs> the Holy Spirit don't even begin to move uh, uh, until you begin to praise God Amen. 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 so you praise God in your circumstances you praise God when everything seems like bleak when everything seems like it ain't gonna work you praise him in the morning you praise him at noon day. you praise him every day
You just don't understand. Yes, I do understand. Yes, I do understand. Amen? But I t I'm here to tell you something. I'm here to tell you, amen, that we have to allow those inward battles to be turned over to the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because you can't fix it. Mm -hmm. I said you can't fix it. Mm -hmm. Somebody give the Lord some praise. Yeah. <laughs> Go to Ephesians. See, this is this is your road map. This is your road map. Church, you guys need to learn to be, be Bible scholars. Amen. 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 Because this is why how you find out what's going on. And I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell it. Well, you see, Sister Margaret, I just can't see. <laughs> you see everything else you want to see. <laughs> <laughs> you go anywhere else you want to go. Listen to me, and I'm not knocking nobody. But I'm telling you, I had cataract surgery, and I know I couldn't see the Bible, but I closed one eye, and I was looking at the Word of God so I could preach over here. That's right. Are you listening to me? Amen. Amen. Don't tell me you can't read. Amen. Get you some glasses so you can read. Amen. Because listen here, there ain't no way you're going to make it to heaven if you don't know the Word of God. Right. It's your road map. Yeah. It's your road map. If you don't know the word, you'll fall for every wind and doctrine. Yes, that's right. If you don't know the word, you'll get caught up in what anybody else say because you don't know the word. That's right. That's right. You, I, you know, I was that way. I was that way. I, I, I used to, I, listen, I go to church on Sunday and I listen to the preacher. Amen. And I come home and 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 and, and I then formed in my mind what the preacher was saying. And some of the scriptures he was saying, I, I, I wasn't reading it for myself. I was listening to what the preacher said. And I took it differently than what the word meant. If you got your Bible with you, when the word is being preached, you can see where that preacher is going. You can understand when that preacher is breaking down the word of God so you can understand it. Listen here, you, you don't know everything. Amen. And the preacher don't know everything. But the preacher is given the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge to break down the word so you can grow in God. Amen. And it's up to you to receive it. Am I not right, Bob? Amen. I said, I'm not right about it. Amen. Right. Amen. Ephesians 6 and verse 12. Oh, glory be to God. I feel all right. I said, I feel all right. You see, church, we, we uh, uh, not only have inward battles, but we have invisible foes. I said, we have invisible foes. Amen. Say, what do you mean by that, Sister Murphy? I mean that there are things, we talk about the angels. The angels are not your foe. The angel is not your enemy. But we have the devil, amen, that's your foe. That's you right. can't see him. I say you can't see him. So he's invisible, amen. So we have the devil working and playing in our lives, amen. 6 and 12 says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Mm -hmm. And I just got to gotta read verse 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore. And I'm not going to get into that. That's another message. Amen. But we have invisible foes. And in and, 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 and verse 12, he says, we don't wrestle. You're not wrestling against me. You're not wrestling against your neighbor. Even though they may get on your nerve. <laughs> You're not wrestling against other people. Amen. amen. The Bible says you're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Your problem is not with flesh and blood. Huh? But your problem is with this invisible foe that you have. Amen. Amen. Against principality. 
principalities, things in the air, things you cannot control. Amen. It's against powers, other yes. powers, other than Jesus. Your problem ain't with Jesus. Your problem is with the devil. That's right. That's right. You know, I am a firm believer that everything that happens in my life, and you can think what you want, but everything that happens in my life is either of God or it's of the devil. There ain't no in between. Huh? There ain't no gray. Amen. Amen. It's either black or it's white. Right. Amen. It's either Jesus or it's the devil. Yeah. Huh? Right. If it ain't of Jesus, who is God, who else can be doing it? Yeah, that's right. Huh? That's right. But the devil. So you need to learn how to recognize things that are not of God so that you can understand how to walk and to fight the spiritual battles that you're in. That's right. Mm -hmm. Some say, well, so smart, you just don't understand. Uh, that man down there, I owe him so much money, and he just bugging me. <laughs> and then some people exactly. say, boy, I tell you, you know, this one over here done this to me, and that one done that to me, and I'm just so mad, you know, and whatever. Listen, the devil is working through those people that have done you wrong. Mm -hmm. That's right. The Bible says you don't wrestle against flesh and blood. Huh? My problem ain't against you. My problem Amen. ain't with you. Amen. Huh? You per se. Mm -hmm. But the devil that gets in you. Amen. Amen. I said the devil that gets in you. Amen. That's where my battle is at. Amen. 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 And it shouldn't be in the church. So a lot of times we can go in Walmart and, let, and, and especially on Tuesday when the, when the elderly people come in there and they want you to get out of their way because that's their day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, know what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about really elderly people. Amen. <laughs> Pushing their cars and it's like, it's all I can do to get my groceries, so get out of my way. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And what I'm saying is this. I'm saying that a that, 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 that lot of times if we don't look at the situation and compare it to the situation, how many know that was not Jesus talking? No. no. The devil got in her or him. And the devil made them act unseemly. Well. Are you listening to me? Amen. So, so what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to recognize that that wasn't God and that that was the devil and you're supposed to not let that bother you. Amen. Huh? Oh, I just got to tell it. It could be right in your own home. Right in your own home. Recognize that devil, church. Recognize that devil. Amen. And, and fight the spiritual battles with the word of God and with Jesus on your side, you can fight the battle. But if, if you pick up, if you pick up those problems, if you pick up those spiritual battles, amen, they're going to keep on nagging you and nagging you and nagging you. Put your foot down and say, no, it's a no, it's a no. Saturday morning. 
We pulled into the parking lot there said a car. It was not a member of this church, and we don't have membership. I meant to say no partner of this church, no one that, you know, comes here. And, and I'm not going to go into it all the way, but uh, we couldn't see nobody. <laughs> the devil was trying to use the church property. Brother Hunt came on inside, and I sat there for a little while, and I thought, Lord Jesus, I know this ain't right, and I kept thinking, well, you know, it wasn't hunting season, so I know it wasn't nobody down there trying to hunt no deer. This was like early in the morning, probably around 8 or 9 o'clock, maybe 10. So I kept sitting there. Finally, I said, mm, I dug in my purse, and I got me a pad and a pencil, and I got out, and I said, well, let me go see who's... Because I thought when they had just parked the cars there and left them. So I said, let me go and see what these lights place is because I'm going to have to call the police to tell them to get these vehicles off the church property. Amen. Which we've had that to happen before. People break down on the highway and they pull up in here. Amen. So anyway, I got out of the car and I got ready to, to write down the license plate and... <laughs> I hate to tell you this, amen, but my head's fucked up. <laughs> and you know what? After talking to them, I got back in the truck, and then I said, no, I'm going inside. So I went on inside, came inside. And the Lord let me know this wasn't a one-time thing. You see, we're not over here all, all the time. But God fixed it, whereas we were able to see what was actually taking place in the back of the church. And I began to pray. And I, you know what I asked God? I said, God, hold it not to their charge. I got angry. But I said, God, hold it not to their charge. Because they don't know. They don't know you. If they knew you, they wouldn't have done that. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Yeah. This is holy ground. Yeah, right. I said this is holy ground. Yeah. Am I not right about yeah. it? Right. So these are things that, 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 that the devil will do to try to contaminate even God's property. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But see, he tells us what to do. And so I began to pray. And I began to pull down those principalities yeah. and those powers of the air. I began to pull down those strongholds. And I began to pray against this, uh, against this thing. And I began to pray God's protection over his house yeah. and over his yeah. property. Yeah. And I'm asking you to do the same thing. Amen. To pray yeah. that God's yeah. property stay holy. Amen. 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 Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. We cannot allow Satan to have his way. Amen. Over here Amen. on this property. We cannot. He, he wants to have his way in your lives. He wants to have his way any kind of way that he can. Amen? Amen. 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 Those are what I'm talking about. Amen. It's those spiritual, spiritual, in, <laughs> invisible foes. The devil got in them and made them do these things. Go to, go to 2 Corinthians right quick. Amen. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. 2 Corinthians. Second Corinthians 10th chapter, verse 4. Start at verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ and having in a, in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Amen. Your weapons are not common. Mm -hmm. hmm? That's right. The weapons of your warfare are not common. In other words, my weapons that I used against that situation is not something that 
you go and do naturally. That's right. How many know I had to go into spiritual warfare? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. If somebody does something to you, even on your own property, at home, or whatever, go into spiritual warfare. Because the devil is trying to take something from you. The devil is trying to destroy something that God has given you. You can't take matters in your own hand and deal with it. You know, you never know what that devil might have in store for you. Walk away. Walk away, church, and go into spiritual warfare. That's what he gave it to you for. Preach. I said that's what he gave it to you for. Am I not right? Huh? So church, listen to what I'm saying tonight. And that every one of you has got battles that you don't know how you're going to face. You got battles that you're working with. You got battles you don't know how you're going to handle. Go into spiritual warfare. When I walked around with a hump on my back, amen, didn't know how I was going to make it. Didn't know how my family was going to make it. A lot of things coming at me at one time. Hallelujah. I had then got born again, and I recognized the devil trying to work in my home, and I went into spiritual warfare. Yeah. Yeah. I may know the Lord fixed it. Amen. Amen. I may know the Lord fixed it. Amen. I said he'll do it every time. Yes. He'll do it every time. Or if you're his child, he'll do it every time. Yes. 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 They're not carnal, but mighty through God. Amen. To the pulling down of strongholds. Amen. See, I, I, I'm not going to wait and let the devil get a stronghold in this church. And I hope y'all are with me on this. Amen. I'm not going to wait. Let things happen. When I see things happen, I'm coming against it. Amen. Amen. I ain't going to wait on it. I'm coming against it. Amen. By the power of Almighty God, I'm going to come against it. Amen. Same thing in my home. I'm not going to wait for the devil to get a stronghold. I'm going to come against it, amen, in my home. Amen. Hmm? Amen. You know what's right. I'm, listen, it, 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 it ain't going to be pleasant. But how I many know we ain't supposed to be making it pleasant for the devil? That's right. I said, we ain't supposed to be making it pleasant for the devil. That's right. Huh? <coughs> Somebody say amen. 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 Go to St. Luke. I'm almost done. Those are spiritual weapons. And Luke, the 10th chapter, 19th verse says, 19th verse, 10 and 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Amen. <laughs> Behold, I give unto you power. How many know you got power? Yeah. Right. How many know this is Jesus talking? Yeah. How many know this is red writing? Yeah. Amen. Look at it. This is Jesus' yeah. words to you. Yeah. He said, I give you power to tread or to walk on serpents and scorpions and over the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. It's up to Amen. you whether or not you pick up that power. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Not too long ago, the devil tried to take my, my grandson, one of my grandsons, my youngest. We got the news that he was tried to take his life. We didn't know whether he was um, still alive or what was going on. And we found out he was at the hospital. And when we found the news, when they finally called us, this had happened early in the day. We didn't get the message until until late that evening. Mm. My son was not at home. And so finally we got the message that this had happened. And I, I went into spiritual warfare. Yeah. I began to say, no, 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 no. You will not say, you will not take my grandson. Amen. 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 You will not. Brother Hunt and I got in that truck and we got to the hospital as fast as we can. 
into that room and I went in that room was and with spiritual warfare. I mean, I went in that room and I began to rebuke the devil and he was there with tubes in him and everything and I began to command him to come back. I began to command him to live. I began to command the devil to take his hands off him. Yeah. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Right. See, when the devil try to take something from you, you got to go into spiritual warfare. Yeah. That's right. right. That's right. Are you hearing me? Amen. He's alive today. Amen. 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 He's alive today. Amen. See, he, he was breathing, but he wasn't breathing on his own. He had, he had help. A few hours later, amen, he spit the tube out. <laughs> Because he was breathing on his own. Are you hearing me? Amen. You see, it ain't never too late for God. No. I, 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 you got to go into spiritual warfare. I heard Brother David talking about how he began to pray when he heard about his, his son. You can't wait to find out. Go into spiritual warfare. Don't wait. Go into spiritual warfare and claim your blessing you. in God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Amen. Huh? Amen. Some of you got some, some sick family members. Amen. Right. Amen. Start claiming it. Amen. Claim it. Claim it. Amen. Claim it in Jesus' name. Amen. Go into spiritual warfare. I tell you, God has a way to work things out. He may not work it out the way you think he's going to work it out, but he's going to work it out. Yeah. Yeah. I said he's going to work it out. How many know you ain't got no other help? Right. How many know you ain't got no other hope? Come on! Right. You got power over the enemy! Yeah. Praise God. Yes, we do. How many in here is baptized in the Holy Ghost? Amen. Don't have. That's right. 
Don't entangle yourself. Don't get caught up in the world situation. And most folks, they're so caught up in the political world, they can't even see what Jesus is doing. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Let the, let the po politics just do what they want to do. you got a God that's bigger than the politicians. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? Amen. Amen. It says, is it lawful to pay taxes? That's the question. Is it lawful to pay taxes? Jesus answered him and said, give unto Caesar that which is Caesar and give unto God that which is God. There should, no, there should not be no problem between that. If you give, un, give unto God, he going to make sure you be able to do the other. He going to make sure you have what you need. Huh? Are you following what I'm saying to you? Amen. Stop worrying about well, I ain't got enough to do this, and I ain't got enough to do that. You got more than enough. Amen. If you got Jesus, you got more than enough. Glory be to God. Amen, amen. I, I look around, and I, and, 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 and I got one, one, car, one vehicle that's on one leg, and I, I got another vehicle that's trying to act up, and, 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 and I said, Lord, I said, I, I need to go back to work so I can, we can get another vehicle so that we can, we we'll always have the vehicle here to get back and forth. We live in Kingston Heights. We got to get back and forth to LaPorte, amen? amen? And you know the Lord just spoke it into my heart? Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. It's in my hand. Right. It's in my hand. See, ain't nothing wrong with you asking God. That's right. But then when he tells you it's in his hand, then you settle on that. Amen. Then you settle on that. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Amen. He said, you just keep doing what, I'm, what I tell you to do. I'm going to make it all okay. I'm going to make everything available for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You heard of people that are about to run out of gas and they on their way and they say, oh God, I don't know what I'm going to do. I got no money and I'm about out of gas. And you know, and, and the gas needle goes this way. <laughs> <laughs> Off empty, on to full. Uh -huh. That's because God will make a way out of nowhere. No I, 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 I've gone to the port with my hand, my, that needle all the way over on E and didn't know how I was going. Past the gas station, gas station closed, and I'm like, oh, Lord, what am I going to do? Lord, please take care of me. And you know what? That gas got me to the next gas station. Yeah. Amen. 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 That was God, church. Amen. You can say what you want to say. That was God. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. He will take care of you. Amen. If you do what you're supposed to do for him, he will take care of you. And what I'm trying to say here, it, it takes consecration. And, and, and we have these, uh, I'm almost done. We have these spiritual battles, but God has given us power over them, over them all, using spiritual weapons against the enemy. And that spiritual weapon is prayer. Yes. Amen. That spiritual weapon is, is discerning of spirits. Amen. That spiritual weapon, amen, is, 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 is using the word of God. Yes, yes. Amen. amen. Praise God. Praise God. Against the enemy. But it takes consecration, which is a dedication to the service and worship of God. Amen. Amen. I said it takes consecration. Amen. You got to make a determination in yourself. Amen. Yes, you hurt. Yes, there's problems going on in your life. Amen. But are you dedicated to Christ? That's right. Are you consecrated? Amen. I said, are you consecrated? A consecration is, Lord, I, no matter what comes and what goes, I am going to live for you. That's consecration. Everything ain't going to be how you have it. But tonight, you can make that decision. You can make that decision. With the spiritual battles that you're going through, you can say, Lord, I'm going to consecrate my life to you. I'm going to change from the wrong to the right. I'm going to stop allowing others to dictate to me. I am going to live the life that you want me to live.
come hell or high water. Jesus. Amen. 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 Say, Sister Margaret, you cursed. No, I didn't curse. I'm talking about the grave. That's right. Whether, whatever comes first. Amen. Amen. I made a decision a long time ago. And I'm sticking with it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you, there's been a lot of things in my life that has happened down through, down through the years that has tried to take me off this road that I'm going. Mm -hmm. But I made a decision. I consecrated myself yeah. to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I know it was the blood. I